And we're back, Nocturnal Duck here with a brand new deck just for you and your sweet head. This one's my first Throne of Eldraine deck tech. I was going to do a food token deck. That's still coming. I'm still working on that. I want it to be just right. This one, on the other hand, has done so well for me, and I think I just needed to showcase it first, and I think you're going to like it. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, we have the spicy tamale here today. Let me tell you, we have to mention this first. Crashing Drawbridge. I underestimated this like a crazy person, and trust me, every opponent's going to do the same thing. It doesn't look all that good, but when it starts putting, pulling off the shenanigans for us, they instantly want to get rid of it. So what it is is a 2-drop, 0-4 wall, so that's a good blocker anyway, but you tap this and you give your creatures haste. So we're trying to give particular creatures haste, and they are Itatra and our Boar God. So basically the way we work this is turn two our drawbridge and then on turn four we drop our tatra tap the bridge swing in and then when she does combat damage which is unblockable she can exile a creature that the opponent controls she gets shuffled into your library once that happens three times you just win the game so it doesn't matter if their life is at 400 you win the game so that's already amazing but then let's say that happens on turn four then on turn 5 you drop the boar, tap the drawbridge, swing in again, and when he attacks you get to drop a creature from your hand attacking. So hopefully you get to drop a Dracoseth, or in the ideal lineup here, another Atatra. So you can actually pull off this shenanigan by turn 5, you're pu putting so much pressure on the opponent they're either going to scoop or change their whole plan to being defensive. So you get the whole tempo of the game after about turn 5 if this is the way it rolls out, and it consistently does. So in the meantime, to get us up to turn 5, what are we doing? So our, t our Merfolk Secret Keeper, this is here because we're going to put the top 4 cards of our library into the graveyard Yard, hopefully a Natantra or a Borgod or a, a Dracoseth. Then we use our Bond of Revival and get them back and swing and win. But we can also use this to put the top four cards from our opponent's uh, li library onto the graveyard. And once you do that twice, then our Vantress Gargoyle is active. So the way this guy works is he's a two drop five four flyer and he can't attack unless the opponent has seven cards in the graveyard, hence why we would do that twice but he can't block unless you have four cards in hand. So turn two, you definitely have four cards in hand and he's just a perfect blocker. And if they get rid of him, which is kind of hard to do, we have Lazav who can just copy and turn into him. But Lazav can also turn into the Tatra, the Boar God, and swing with them in that way. But he can also turn into the Drawbridge and then tap and give haste to whatever we're about to drop. So he is kind of a little bit of a, an addition. He'll stand up at the right time. That's why I've only got two copies. Um, we have the thrill of possibility to be able to instant speed at the end of their turn, drop one of these pieces into the graveyard, and then hopefully bond of revival it back. So we have a couple of ways that we can, you know, dip all the right pieces into the graveyard and toolbox them back with Lazav and bond. But if we don't have them in the graveyard, we have them in hand, we can potentially we still be bringing them out and attacking on, on that same turn. So the deck works in a way where you're playing practically a haste deck, and then you're playing haste from the graveyard too. So you are always got cards going on and it just works in this big loop. And by the time they see the shenanigans going on, they want to get rid of this drawbridge. It just glues it all together. So we also have the Merchant of the uh, Veil. Now on turn one, you can just discard a card and draw a card. So you discard one of these, hopefully for the bond again. Um, and then bringing him out on turn three after the adventure, you can tap the drawbridge and then you pay the three, uh, sorry, attack with this guy. Um, but you can also do this with the Bone Crusher. So basically he's a sweet removal piece. He's going to do two damage to something. Then you can play him from the um, adventure, tap the bridge and attack with a 4-3. And if he dies, he does two damage to the opponent. So he's actually really good with this drawbridge shenanigan coming back from the adventure. And the amount of times that I actually bring back a Bone Crusher Giant plus a Merchant, tap the bridge and swing with both, it's just stupid, you know, but it's the kind of thing where you are doing these shenanigans early game 
and putting all of those pieces into the graveyard so later you can just bond them back anyway. So if they manage to counter or kill in a touch up, that's fine. Same with the ball. Um, basically, the Drucker South we are not going to hard cast. I, I don't think I'll actually do it ever. <laughs> but the style of this deck pulls off some of the biggest attacks I have done. I think in one of the videos I nearly um, get three of these off straight away. Um, like as in three of her win conditions happening turn after turn just because of that one drawbridge. Um, and the Drakaseth, I think one of the attacks I do is with a, a Natatra and then I, I swing with a Natatra and a Borgard and drop a Drakaseth for free. So that was just broken attack. They seen what was going on, they tried to figure out their blocks and just scooped. I think that's the last game anyway. So, But yeah, that's the, the deck in, in a nutshell. Basically it just goes so from turn one to turn four, pulling off, like filtering through our deck, getting all of the right pieces into the graveyard, finding the right color lands. We do have three colors, which can kind of jank us because the lands are a little bit ugly at the moment. I'm still trying to buy all of the good lands. Um, but realistically, you can do your lands. It might fire even quicker if you've got better lands in here. So you'd be surprised how often you'll get wins from a Tatra's ability. Like that has happened a lot for me, but the amount of times that you also are dropping the Boar God swinging straight away with a Drakaseth. Like these two swinging on turn five happens quite a lot. So, you know, regardless, you're going to bond them back and win the game. They can't escape the fact that they're going to have an Atatra unblockable swing, a ball coming in on the turn you drop it, and free swinging with a Drakaseth. It just happens. So I think the underestimation of this crashing drawbridge is the key to this deck, because they see you drop it on turn two and go, whatever. And then on turn four, when you start pulling this off, they instantly want to get rid of the drawbridge. So I think this is going to catch them off guard and everything about this deck is catching them off guard. Hence the name Lost. They're going to be completely lost with what you're doing. Like putting cards into their graveyard, putting cards into your graveyard, bringing out a gargoyle and then they're thinking, okay, I'll have to get rid of that. They start using their removal on these this guy, you know, and early game stuff. And by the time you get to turn four, they don't have anything to deal with the Tatra and you're, you're getting this happening. So... I think the games showcase the deck to the point where you see all of the combos. So it's a well-rounded uh, video. I think you'll see the lines. And if there's any changes, if there's any suggestions, make sure you hit me up in the comments and most certainly tell me what changes you've made because I want to see. I want to see what other brains do when they tick over this one. So uh, enough chin flapping from me. Let's get into some games, shall we? I think we're going to keep this. <laughs> this is beautiful. Turn one, Scryzel. Okay. Yes, we do need land. Oh no, we do want to get that down, don't we? Um, Monsieur Drawbridge. I'm actually really liking this drawbridge, especially in a deck like this where your creatures attacking is kind of the cheese of the whole thing. Okay, now into our tapped land. And our huge flyer. Yeah. Okay. Is he going to attack? Trying to see if we can do something to get rid of that gargoyle, but he's dumped his whole hand pretty quick. We're gonna get rid of that thief of insanity. So yes, yes. 
Cool. Four mana. Enters tapped, that's fine. Um, I reckon we go one of these suckers. Sweet. And yes, we will in turn. That's all right. No worries, Matt. I've kind of got the pieces that I need. If I get one more land, you're in major trouble. Yep. There's all my land. I'm actually more upset about land right there. Okay, so he's going to attack. We'll get rid of that thief. Uh, is that my turn? Yes, it is. Another thief! Amazing! Alrighty, so I think our best bet is get the giant out. And this guy. Give them haste. And we'll all attack him, yeah, sure. Oh, right, I shouldn't have done him. <laughs> Oops, whatever. Don't have a blocker now, but that's good. Yeah, so you're gonna take five to the face. Yes, he is. So now he's got the flyer only, and whatever card he's drawn, he's going to... Okay, nothing. That's fine by me. All my lands. One more land, I think we win. If we get one more land, I think we win. I'll be attacking with both of these. Ooh, but this is still good. All attacks there. Can't block him. Mm -hmm. And we'll just get rid of that guy. Nothing for you. So we've still got that one land and we're good. We've got all the pieces in hand. I mean, I could possibly... There you go, there's another track of Seth, but all of my land again. So I think we thrill of possibility if we miss our land. Ah, oh. ah. Oh. Yeah, we'll get rid of, actually, get rid of this guy. Cool. Do some shenanigans. Um. Yeah, should we just get rid of Ashiok? I think possibly going to ten is probably better. And turn. So we've definitely won now. The only way I can't do, I think I've still won, but if he gets rid of, no, that doesn't even matter. I think we just win. We're just like dropping him. Yeah, dude, that is fine. Probably should have saved that. Cheese, cheese. 
Yep. Yep. Come on, yep. <laughs> yeah, I don't need any of them anymore. I'm just gonna win right here. So, do you have a counter spell, maybe? My turn. Okay, so we're gonna touch her. Oh, wrong one. That's all right. We're still doing. Take him to one. I can't believe I clicked the wrong one. What a misplay that is. Cool. So that's it. Like, what's he gonna do? What could you possibly do? Five mana, two cards. That's fine, man. That's absolutely fine. Yep. <laughs> See, that was solid. That was a solid run. I misplayed hard there. That was the game, but... We won in the end. That's fine. Alright, so we're going to keep that. We're going with our first tapped. Then we will go our untapped to bring out this. Although it's not a bad idea to... Oh, nice. I like that guy. I like him. Yeah. Sweet. That's kind of nice. So next turn is this with our blue, followed by an attacher. Okay, so... Let's bring this guy up. Hopefully he sticks. And I say hopefully because he could drop a red or something. Nope. So next turn's good. Swing with an attacher. Yeah, that's fine, bro. Yes. So, attacher. What's he gonna do here? Give him haste. What do you got? What do you have that could handle a Tatra with green? Don't know if you have anything. Yup. Obviously, it's him. So, if we get a bond, oh, I guess we need a land for that. So, next turn, I think we drop this guy. Ooh. Yeah, I reckon we go with this. get some damage ok 
Okay, so what's next? Ooh. Okay. That's pretty cool. Um, no, we don't need another wall just yet. Two. Okay, so I think we can go like this. And then attack in. Probably gonna take it because he's, why would I swing in otherwise? Nope. Two damage to any target, it's only gonna put him to one. Um. Hmm. Last turn. End turn. So five mana. We just need a bond and we can Dracoseth. There's his red. I felt like he was gonna have red. I called it. So what's next buddy? What do you got for us? Some sort of shenanigans. I think he's flooded with green, that's why he's been staggering his cards out. Are you going to attack? Because I will block. Oh, okay. Whatever. At least that keeps me off bond, I guess. Pass to attackers. Pass to blockers. Oh, he can't be blocked. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> what are you thinking about? Two green. You're going to make him fight him? So it's right. Oh, you're lucky, buddy, old pal. Dump some in there because I don't want to get rid of a land. Put this out. Oh, we'll right. swing in. So one more land and we win, man. If you didn't take that land away, that was the game. Okay. That's fine. We'll take five, maybe more. Maybe a little bit more. Six so far. You're doing that now? Really? Okay. I'm not gonna argue there. Oh man, if that was a land. I'm gonna get rid of that. Bye. Thanks for coming. You done ten damage, you should be happy about that. Do you have a huge buff for this gingerbread man? Can you get six damage done? That is the question, because 
I can only do four <laughs> so far. We might pull something that we can do though. Okay. Wow, why are you doing that in my turn? Oh, in your turn. Seriously. That's absolutely fine, dude. If I get a land, you're done. Why are you doing that? I can't block it anyway. I think he's just in panic mode. Ouch! That sucked. Can't believe we're just sitting on one land to win the game. Like seriously, just one land and we win. Okay. It's pretty close here. Pretty neck and neck. What's this one card? Oh, that's not bad. That's not bad. I just seriously need one land to win the game. Okay. That's bizarre. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna block. Yep, that's right. Ah, oh, thank God. Good game, bro. That was nice. I can't believe that we were, he took that one land away at the perfect time, because the next turn we literally could have won the game, but we got there in the end. Booyah! Well, there's another one for the list. On to the next. All right. Scry first, please. Hmm? Yes, we want the land, especially blue. That's a bit of a... Oh, I guess we can bring it in still. Bring down our wall. Next turn is going to be... Depending on what we draw. Okay, that's pretty good. Enter that tapped. I'm not going to get rid of him in case you get a bond. Oh, I'll just replace yourself, why not? Okay. Yeah, nice. Perfect target. That's fine. Absolutely fine. <laughs> Jeez. We'll just take away that pride, mate. Thanks for coming. Yeah, it's gone, bro. Back in the deck. <laughs> I've got all of them. I've got all three attacher uh, combo here. Just keep pouring out the targets. Don't destroy my drawbridge. And I'm happy. I'm a happy man. Yeah. Nice. So get your attack in. Yep. That's fine. No worries at all, bro. No worries at all, bro. Oh, no, we don't need to discard nothing. <sighs> this is quite comfortable, actually. This drawbridge is just OP, man. Yeah. And one more, please. 
keep the bridge around and we win. <laughs> Just the bridge and the Atacha is all we needed. Can you get rid of my bridge? you get rid of the bridge? Bridge ridden. He's like, surely he doesn't have another one. Well, I do. And now here comes a counterspell. Ooh. Maybe not. Is it a destroy or a bounce? Cool. We'll just put down this guy. <laughs> oh lord. Not bad. Three, four, five, six. We'll just put our piglet out. Can you answer the piglet? Can you answer the piglet? Because all I need is a bond and a target and I win. That was the game man, I thought we were just going to triple the Tatra and win. That would have been the perfect video. But you've seen it, nearly happen. It can happen. Right now if he doesn't kill this ball we win. My god. There we go. <laughs> uh, we wouldn't have won, but he's seen what the deck is doing. What a behemoth. That was a good match. That was a good, good match. On to the next. Okay, I'm going to keep that. I'm going to go with the scry first though. Why not? I don't want to put him at the bottom. We do kind of need him. Yeah, we'll just bring out a 5-4 flyer. Why not? Um, I think we wait for that. No, yeah. we'll do it to them so we can start actually getting this guy ready to attack. Sweet. So. What you got? My turn? Okay. Four. Yeah, we'll just end, I think. I think that's the one. Sure. Last two attackers. Nice of you to join us. So, we do need our drawbridge. 
I think we save the troll. No attacks. Save the giant, I mean, not the troll. I could have put Lazav down. Oh no, I couldn't. Yeah, that's that's cool, man. We'll just drop her. We don't want her around. Mm, yeah, we'll just block one. No worries, bro. Ooh, what do we have in here? Something that I like to call a uh, Itachra. This is probably the better move because if he gets rid of it, I'm kind of happy. I don't have any monsters in hand, but whatever. Yeah, sure. Sure. What are you at? Four, five, six. So two more mana before you swing with him. What do you got? Well, that's pretty good. Wait. My word is bro. We'll just attack with that. Thanks, buddy. Thanks for coming. So what do you got? What do you got left? Okay. Sure. That's cool. Ooh. Let's see what we can put in the graveyard here. Yeah, we don't want to land. combat okay so do we attack we don't attack with the pig no attacks in turn I'm holding the land a bluff so do you have any I guess you wouldn't have any board whites would you you got one more before you can put that hammer on something doesn't give it trample though. So you're not. Oh. Yeah, you can't do anything with that. Pass to attackers. Booyah. Well, that was good. This is crazy move right here. I'll attack the both of them and drop a drop of Seth. <laughs> oh lord. What an attack. What a brutal attack. 
Yeah. So you want to get rid of the... Oh, maybe not. Yeah, you want to get rid of the pig. <laughs> he's got nothing. He's taking 10 damage, so he's going to 7 if he didn't block the flyer. That was awesome. That was a really brutal attack. This has showcased the deck pretty well, actually. I might leave it there. I think that's done the rounds of everything that the deck can do throughout all the game. So, yeah, I think that's the one.